Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, today we are going to see how uh, AS400 can be communicated with web. Uh, if you are having your AS400 version 5.4 and above, uh, it will be coming with a default web, uh, Apache web server. And using that we can create any uh, web application we want. And also we can make uh, AS400 web services based on REST and SOAP UI uh, based with the use of this uh, Apache web server. Uh, I will be covering all those topics in my future videos. Uh, now we are going to see very basic thing. How to view our uh, uh, HTML page using AS400. So I am just logging in. First we are going to check whether uh, we have HTTP server subsystem is running or not. So here we can see the subsystem is already running. Suppose if this is not running, then you have to issue uh, a start TCP server command with uh, HTTP admin. So using this command, you can start the HTTP server. Now the server is already running. Now we are going to start the Apache web servers. For starting Apache web servers, you can use this command start TCP server. It's a HTTP server and the server name is Apache DFT. So if you click enter, you can see <coughs> the server is now started. Once this is started, right, you can go to your uh, browser and then so you can give your AS400 IP uh, slash index.html. So now this will give you a, a web page. This is actually an index page of Apache Web Server. So this is actually coming from the AS400 server. So um, you can see, you know, there is a document specified. So we'll go inside and we'll check. So work link www. If you go here, you can see uh, Apache default folder. And inside, there is a HT doc. And you can see this index.html. So this is what we are seeing in our uh, web page. So this means that if you change anything maybe for example this is a sample page of apache i'm putting xxxxx and then i'm saving this if i reload this page right so i can see the is coming so basically this page is coming from our as founder server from this path so this means that whatever the page or whatever the html we put in this directory that can be uh, accessed via this particular ip and one more thing is, uh, you need to see this config folder. Here, this HTTP config file is one of the important file. So this is actually holding the configuration of the Apache Web Server. So here you can see, uh, we are allowing all the documents from this htdoc folder. And uh, this default port is 80. Uh, so if I want to add uh, like the custom path, or if I want to have my own HTML files into a separate directory and I want to access that using the Apache um, you know, web server then we need to put an ally statement ok so I have just uh, edited this configuration file and then I have added an ally statement stating uh, if the URL contains uh, slash my docs then we have to you have to look the file from this directory and then I'm giving like um, I mean I'm allowing all the files from the directory to be uh, accessed. Okay, now just uh, save this F3. Okay, now uh, in order to uh, see whether it's working or not, we need to restart the Apache server because we have changed the configuration file. So we can restart using this command. Uh, start TCP server. You can give restart HTTP. So if it's, so it's restarting. You can see it here. Okay, now it's restarted. So now we, we need to have some file. Link. So we need to have some file in this directory to be accessed. So I'm going to create a file in my home DUS. So called welcome.html and I have added some HTML code. Okay, and then save this file. Okay, now we have a welcome.html in home DUS directory. So now to access this, we need to go to the browser and in, we have to give our 
alex path which is my docs slash uh, welcome dot html so now whatever we have given in this welcome dot html is being uh, rooted and displayed in the browser okay so now you have learned uh, how to connect your as 400 and uh, web service to the web page so in the coming video we will see in depth further how to link our rpgl code inside and how to communicate with browser getting the input from the browser those stuffs i hope this helps see you in the next video thank you